To the supernatural, I am that thing that goes bump in the night. To the rest of you, I am your savior and your guardian angel. I am the phoenix. Oh, and you can tell your kids the boogeyman is dead. Rome. 1600s. On a stormy and ominous night, Lucas Hayes, a malevolent vampire known as Shadow, takes his position at the forefront alongside his vampire comrades. Across the battlefield, a group of superhumans called the Council, under the formidable leadership of a resilient woman named Reina Salvatore, stands ready to face them. As the two factions charge towards each other, the rain pouring down, Reina searches through the tumultuous scene for a glimpse of shadow. Amidst the downpour, she mutters, Where are you? It's a challenge to see through this relentless rainfall. A moment later, triumphantly, she declares, There you are. She rushes towards him with her sword cocked back. You will pay for killing my father, Shadow. Shadow swiftly severs the head of a counselor with his razor-sharp sword and hurls the lifeless body like a gruesome projectile, sending it rebounding off Reyna. The chaos continues to unfold amidst the clash of warriors and the splattering rain, creating a nightmarish spectacle that echoes with the brutality. Shadow knows how to stay out of Reyna's direct line of sight by dodging around the chaotic battlefield. But as the previously packed battlefield becomes sparser, a strange silence falls over them, and the once two lovers, now enemies, are forced into a tense standoff. Their eyes lock each realizing that they will eventually collide on this strange battlefield. You're alone now, Reyna. Just go, Shadow said with mercy. You will fall from my blade. A surge of anger courses through the powerful counselor as she takes a deep breath, her grip on the sword tightening. Unfazed by Shadow's warning, she launches herself forward, thrusting her weapon with fierce determination. However, Shadow sidesteps effortlessly tapping her blade away. Restrain yourself. You're too angry to fight me, Shadow yelled. That would make it easier to kill her, said a sinister voice coming from the background. Shadow drops his sword. No, I will not kill her, uncle. Emerging from the shadows with an ominous presence, Lucius Hayes, a powerful vampire reaper, strides onto the battlefield. I knew you didn't have it in you. Lucius grips his sword made of silver and tosses it towards Reyna. Shadow quickly leaps in front of her, and when the blade pierced through his heart, blood gushed out of his chest, covering Reyna's face. No! Lucius yelled, realizing he just killed his nephew. Shadow descends to his knees, and in that heart-wrenching moment, when Reyna grasps the reality of her best friend's mortality, she cradles him in her arms, tears streaming down her face. As the essence of shadow dissolves into ash, she plants a tender kiss on his forehead, a final farewell etched with sorrow. Once shadow's body faded away, the clinging sound of the sword as it fell to the ground caught her attention. Reyna picks up the sword and heads for Lucius, but with one wave of his hand, Lucius sends her crashing to the ground with his black magic. Reyna slowly tries to get up, but Lucius pulls her up by her long, curly blonde hair and grabs her neck. He suspends her in the air with a strong grip around her neck, and before he chokes her to death, the witches arrive and uses their powers, forcing Lucius to release Reyna. Upon hitting the ground, Reyna takes a moment to catch her breath. About bleeding time they decided to make an entrance, she quips. The witches begin their chant holding onto the Hayes family amulet. Once the portal opens to the supernatural prison Zion, it attempts to suck Lucius in. The Reaper uses all his might to pull away from the spell, but once he realized he wasn't strong enough, he eyes a sword on the ground. Commencing their enchanting incantation, the witches grasp the illuminating Hayes family amulet tightly. As the portal to the supernatural prison of Zion creaks open, its irresistible pull seeks to devour Lucius. Summoning every ounce of strength, the Reaper strains against the magical force. When he realizes he is not strong enough, his gaze fixates on a sword lying on the ground. Tracking Lucius's gaze, Reyna spots the sword gradually levitating from the ground. A sense of danger grips her as the blade's sharp tip swivels in the direction of the witches. Connecting the dots swiftly, in a courageous act of instinct, she speeds towards Lucius just as he is about to strike. The counselor tackles him with sure grip, sending them both through the portal where they'll be trapped in Zion together. Moments later, the battleground clears, and a beam of light from the heavens gathers up Shadow's ashes and brings him back to life. What the hell just happened? 
a blue flame appears before him and says with a formal tone, That was a great show of bravery, Shadow. Who the hell are you? My name is Blue, and I am a Searing. Wait, so you're an angel. So I am dead, right? At this moment, you're between worlds. I'm here to grant you an offer from the gods. What does the gods want from me? They want you to become the new Phoenix. Shadow couldn't help but to laugh and respond. He's a fairy tale. Used to scare off the supernatural. He doesn't exist. The spirit exits. And the last vampire who had it was killed by a Grim. Why do you think I deserve the job? I don't... Oh. Thanks. The gods believe in you, so that's good enough for me. Now, listen up, because I have a lot to cover. Should I write this down? Shadow asked. Blue conveys with an annoyed tone. There can only be one phoenix. You were chosen because of the stunt you pulled saving Reyna. You will live your life as a daywalker. Shadow interrupts. Wait, the phoenix is a reaper? No, let me finish and you can ask questions after. You can eat normal food or blood, your choice. Just don't kill anyone. And you must work with the council. No, the council killed my parents. Look, if you piss off the gods, they will make you a normal vampire again. After becoming the phoenix, you wouldn't want that. All right, fine, let's do this. Fire me up. Okay, this may hurt a little. Blue ignites into a towering inferno, her fiery essence surging into Shadow's chest. A symphony of agonized screams escapes Shadow as Blue tears through his form, exiting with a burst of intensity through his back. The billowing smoke envelops Shadow's crumpled body as a mysterious tattoo materializes on his back and his once blonde hair transforms into a profound jet black. Shadow catches his breath and asks, There's still a stinging feeling on my back. There's a tattoo there. What? I want to see it. Later. By the way, take care of that flaming heart. Once the heart is destroyed along with the removal of your head, there's no coming back. So, Silver can't kill me? Blue continues with a sigh. No, but speaking of death. Since you're technically dead, I must put you back to sleep for a while. Wait, why? Bye, Shadow.